Hi everyone, welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today, I'd like to go over my hot air station, the quick 861DW, sitting over here in the corner of my workbench. I had a few questions over why a technician would need a hot air station, and what are some of the most common uses for them. So I figured I'd just go ahead and make a video and explain it a little bit better to everybody. The quick 861DW is an excellent little hot air station. It's only about $300, and it comes with a couple extra tips a weighted base and the main unit itself. It does have ESD protection so I can clip it to a mat but as you see I don't usually use a mat. It's got a couple really neat features that I'd like to share with you guys. First off, operation is very simple. It's got three buttons on the front, channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3. And each one of those buttons is a pre-programmed temperature. I have mine set at 200 for the first button 300 for the second and 400 degrees C. Now you might be asking why would somebody use a hot air station? I use 200 degrees most often for doing heat shrink too. Like when I'm doing a cable such as this, I'll seal every single wire with its own individual shrink tube and then I'll seal it all together with one large tube at the very end. I'll also use 200 degrees to remove labels such as this one here on this hand control. You have to lift up the label after you heat up the adhesive so that you can get to some of the fasteners. If you don't use heat, the adhesive might even tear the label which also includes the membrane buttons. So it's a very delicate process. So you heat it up all at once and then you start focusing your heat at the corner that you want to start with and then you just peel it lightly back with a flathead screwdriver until you see the first couple fasteners and then you lift it and continue the peel until the whole label comes right off. Another use for 200 degrees is often for things like Loctite such as on this fastener. If you heat up Loctite past 160 degrees it'll break its bond and you can pull the fastener out much more easily without damaging the threads. My middle button that I have set at 300 degrees I'll use for things like larger heat shrink tube or if I'm peeling a label on something like a piece of aluminum the aluminum will conduct a lot of heat so you have to up your initial temperature. Channel 3 I have set at 400 degrees and that's when I use it as a regular hot air station for removing components. If you have a lot of pins like on this PCB here, you heat it all up from the bottom with a gradual pressure on the component and it will just fall right out as soon as you liquefy the solder. So 400 degrees is for actual soldering or desoldering. 300 degrees is for large heat shrink tube. Sometimes heating up tubing itself if I'm going to put a, a hose over a barb, I'll use 300 degrees C to gradually heat up the hose so I can shove it over a barb and it will create a better bond. In 200 degrees C, I use for adhesive labels, like this one here. I use for heating up fasteners that have Loctite. And I also use it for shrink tube, smaller shrink tube, like this one here. So this quick, it has a really neat feature. When you lift it off the base, it goes into heat mode. Here you can see I have it set at 200 degrees and it hovers right around 200 degrees. It's really nice. As soon as you put it on the stand, it goes back into a sleep mode where it blows cold air through the nozzle to cool it down gradually. The quick unit came with three separate nozzles, a small, a medium, and the large that you can see here. And if you want to change the nozzles, the stand comes with a really neat wrench. You pop it on the stand and you pull and it comes right off. The nozzles are then caught in this reservoir in the front so you don't have to worry about a hot nozzle dancing across your desk. The base is weighted, it's very sturdy and even though this hose is a little bit rigid on the hot air station itself, it's very, very sturdy when I go to dock it in its stand. The temperature is very simple. 
If you want to up the temperature, there's two buttons over here on the left. So you can tune it in as you want. And the air supply, sometimes you need to increase or decrease your air quickly. Very simple with those buttons over on the right. And when you want to store the new temperature and the new airflow, you just press and hold for three seconds and it saves it on the channel that you're pressing. Now this unit gets up the temperature really quickly. Here's 400 degrees. You can see a, a live temperature readout on the display. And there it goes. It only takes about five seconds for it to get up or down in the correct temperature. And that is a lot of airflow. It's very, very hot. 400 degrees C. And you can see it comes down in temperature very quickly when it's in its stand. And it goes back into a sleep mode. This has been an excellent hot air station. I've used it for about two years now. I have had zero maintenance issues. It's been very reliable and it's a very hot air station which allows me to do a whole variety of workloads. I use it almost daily and I would highly recommend it for anyone, especially at that price point. So there you guys go. That's my review of the Quick 861DW. I would say absolutely buy it. Every professional workbench should have one. You can see my Quick soldering station sitting right on top. An excellent pair just to sit over in the corner of my workbench. So there you go. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned because I'm going to have plenty of excellent videos heading your way as fast as I can produce them.